I think we was breaking the rules for real. And I'm like, dang, this is crazy. I have no raps. I know. I'm like, what the fuck? If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Ebony. I make random videos and I like to call everybody a sexy motherfucker. I also say the N word a lot. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to my channel. I missed you, babes. Yeah, I have a lot of explaining to do, but instead, we're gonna answer a bunch of questions. <laughs> we are in October, baby. We in October. I love spooky season. But last thing before we get into these questions, I did my nails, I always do them, but I've been getting a little lazy. But I took the time out today and I did some nails and y'all, I'm really proud of myself. It's not perfect, but to me it is. But this is how they look, you guys. I freaking love them. That's not a knife. That's a knife. I rolled us a little joint. Look at this, look at that beauty. A little fatty. I have no wraps. I know. I'm like, what the fuck? I hope you guys like the little spooky vibes in the back. Happy October. So, a couple weeks ago, this is really bad because I told you guys I was gonna film a video the same night I asked you guys to send in questions and I didn't do it. I didn't do it. It's been really busy over here. You guys sent me like hella questions. Okay, so basically all of these are questions that you guys are asking me. Yeah. We might have to do a part two. Okay, so the first question is, how do you come up with your content? That's a good question. And you know what? I feel like we should spark up to that. The first question was from underscore X underscore King Matt underscore X underscore. <laughs> he said, how do you come up with your content? So honestly, I wing it. I'll randomly think of something and I'm like, I think I could bring that to life. But there's other times where I see trends and stuff. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I get influenced by other people too. Like, and if there's a trend that I fuck with, then I just hop on the trend. Sean Kaler said, what's up with you? Not much, friend, not much, not much. I've been chilling. I mean, not really, <laughs> not really, I've been working. So I recently got promoted um, to like the manager position at the dispensary. I'm in school. One of my favorite classes right now is this IT class. Basically, it's like computer tech and I get to like build a website, build an app. It's really cool. I'm super excited for it. Look, it definitely feels like I've been gone for like a year or two. I'm trying to get caught up with the trends, what's up and what's stuck. Like, I don't know, which is crazy because I was only gone for a few months, but that's how that's how social media is. Okay, so underscore Boba Finn 24 said, do you remember the first time you lit up? Oh my God. So the first time I ever spoke, I honestly thought I was never gonna do it again. So. I was in California. Hold up. How did I meet this girl? No, yeah, it was cheer. Okay, sorry. I did end up going to high school with her, but I met her in cheer. She was like there for like two, three days and she was out. She was like, 
this ain't for me right after practice she's like she said you want to smoke some weed and say not at my house i was like oh shit that sounds fun oh shit at the time i had a best friend okay so we're gonna call her i want to say e basically i hit up e and i'm like hey this girl m on the cheer squad she want to go smoke and have a sleepover Are you trying to come through i think i'm only gonna go if you go and she was like yeah girl i got you so i was like i bet so we go over there and it was like a cool night i think we hit her bong or her pipe and i was coughing like a motherfucker <laughs> That's the one thing about me. I was that one person that'd be like, <coughs> that's really ironic because today I'm like, where the coughs at? And I was like coughing in her pillow. I was trying to like stay quiet. I think we were trying to like not wake her mom up. I think we were not allowed to smoke. I think we was breaking the rules for real. And mama couldn't wake up. And I'm like, dang, this is crazy. And I'm over here high for the first time. And has like a bunch of freaking trippy posters in her room and i was just like laying back and i just looked at everything i fell asleep without even knowing i fell asleep so we all wake up super cool we're like oh my god we got high m is like we're gonna go outside and smoke in nature we're gonna have a little wake and bake and M was experienced. She knew exactly what to do. And she was like the marijuana whisperer to me and E. We were just like, oh my God. She was walking us through the whole entire process. She was like, we're going to go outside in the woods. We're going to have a little wake and bake. And we're just like, okay. We go out and we walk. M brings out a monster can. She starts poking the hole, puts the nug on top, and she's like, okay. She hits it and shows us this is how you do it. Me and me and E are like, oh my God, what? This is crazy. She's like, yeah, this is how we're going to have to smoke it because we can't use the bomb. We can't take it out. I was like, okay, okay. This is how we're going to do it. We over here choking, bro. Like me and E are like dying. Like we're just like... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, bro. And um, M is like, yo, shut the fuck up. Like, y'all are so loud. And we're like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So she, she's like, I know where we can go, where we can be loud and no one's gonna know. And we're like, okay, bet. So we're going down this long hill and I'm so high, bro. It just feels like I'm Indiana Jones. Walking, there's like these long flight of stairs that are just walking and walking. It felt like we were just going in a maze we finally reach the destination and i look up and it's the fucking bathroom i'm like the bathroom <laughs> that's the best you got <laughs> okay okay all right let's go so she finds a way to like go into the bathroom we lock the bathroom whatever hot box the fuck out of that bathroom it was so lit we come out there's so many people so many families. There's kids playing baseball. There's families over here by the park. There's people over here. There's so much going on. And I'm just like, what? And literally, all I can remember is me thinking that the people were literally saying it. How do you look at yourself in the mirror? Do you smell that? They're smoking weed. It's entirely incorrect. <laughs> like we're gonna call the cops on you guys like, this is disgusting you know like that is all i heard was a bunch of karens and i was freaking out on the inside and then we had to go right back up those stairs and i was just like oh my gosh what the fuck bro you're chipping balls right now i know that's the problem and i realized i had to look normal and not hi reached her house and she had some like brown sugar, not the cinnamon, the brown sugar pop tarts, bro. And some milk. I'm telling you, she had like a 12 pack of pop tarts and the three of us ate all of them. Yes, we ate all of them. I and mean, we kept coming back and we had like a whole box of Klondike bars. 
it was a it was a great time i do remember like something happening and i started tripping the fuck out and i was like mom i need you to take me home bro someone take me home Shh, like, someone actually. take you home we're walking dumbass Ugh, no call somebody i need to call my mom i need you to pick me up and mom's picked me up and ever since that i was pretty open to like Smoking the devil's lettuce. But yeah, that was the first time I ever smoked, bro. We smoked out of a monster can. And we went into the bathroom. When we came out, I swear to God, everybody was finna call the cops on us. <laughs> Universe Oslo 888 said, Indica Sativa or Hybrid? Okay, I had to relight it. She finna go out. I like Indicas. I fuck with Indicas. Yeah, yeah, I think this is out. Uh, putting us out it's 1 56 i'll probably get myself until like 2 2 30 this isn't a proper video if i don't show you guys the time boom 1 56 in the morning this is a very specific question me nelson one fan said do you play cod mobile while smoking no i don't um i actually suck at first person and I really want to get better at it. I really do. I need to practice. Dre... Dreato? I think that's how you pronounce it. Dreato? I'm looking at it like Naruto with Dre. Dreato? I could be saying it wrong. Um, he said, what's your zodiac sign? If you can go anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? Oh, my zodiac sign? You know what? I'm going to let you guess. So... Alaska. Alaska. And the reason being is because I've only seen it on TV and it just looks so white and empty and like there's very, very little people there. And it just seems like you can escape there. I would love that. I would love to go somewhere where it's just empty but beautiful. And the northern lights, oh. I gotta have the blunt in hand and I just like watch it sober for a minute and then I just spark the blunt. I gotta I gotta experience it on both ends. You know, it just seems so different and I wanna I wanna see what that talking about. I wanna see what Alaska talking about. What did hit info? Did you guess my zodiac sign? What did you guess? What do you think I am? I am a Virgo. Let me know if you guys were right or wrong. I want to know if you guys guessed it. I've said my zodiac sign plenty of times, but I just want to know, like, who knows? Because have you ever thought about acting? And yes, I have. I have. I have. I think it might be really fun. Hell yeah. 100%. By Joshua Grand 14. He said, Will you ever do a meet and greet? Honestly, I would love to do a meet and greet. I would love to do a meet and greet. And we like smoke and chill and talk. Kind of like a kickback session. I would love a meet and greet. I think we got to establish a couple things first. Derry Glee underscore for real said, what it do? What it do, friend? What it do? We over here sipping. We over here answering questions what it really do what it do i think i'm gonna make a burrito after this it's like 2 a.m yeah it's like 2 a.m and i'm gonna make a burrito that's just how it oh my god y'all i forgot i rolled another joint for the next segment of the video i rolled a whole nother joint we're gonna get into this that's all i know it's a little wet because i put my cup on it I didn't realize like what it was. I'm gonna let her dry out for a sec <laughs> and then we're gonna get into that. G Z Y underscore season said, No question, but glad you're back. Really dig your content. Thank you so much. I'm glad I'm back too. Thank you. Thank you for supporting me and watching my stuff. Like, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. 
cool e boy 04 said he said i'm sorry i have no questions but it's so good to see you again thank you it's good to be back it's good to be back thank you so much um cool e boy 04 i appreciate your comment thank you for supporting me and showing me love and always being active even when i'm not i appreciate it <laughs> what is your motivation process when you are feeling off or not in the mood so that's from db underscore the underscore visionary and the has a three not an e um my motivation is bitch this is what you love to do you know you gonna have fun and that's it that's it what's your favorite strain and how are your favorite and how are your favorite creators oak the goat oak underscore the goat i'm assuming you're asking me who are my favorite creators okay so what is my favorite strain <sighs> i think my favorite strain right now is called cement shoes it's a very very sedating indica it really sinks you into the couch like if i have any plans i know that shit's not gonna get done unless i smoke standing up like dead ass it's so crucial like if I sit down, like even in a chair, I'm falling asleep. I know before it was blueberry duck foot. That was like, oh my gosh. Every time it came in, I was like, bro, this shit is fire. Like that blueberry duck foot. That shit was unmatched. Do I have any favorite creators? Mm. Mm hmm. I kind of do. This is not in order. Diera, Diera Taylor. It used to be um, DK4L, but once they broke up, um, Diera. I will say I have watched Ken's videos, and I'm really interested to see where Ken takes his channel. Like I love how bubbly and how energetic she is, and how outgoing she is. And she even came out. I'm like, bitch, you are so cool. Like I fucking love you. So Diera um goddamn zo i fucking love goddamn zo he is so funny and i i really love his like tea time episodes where he talks about like the latest things that happen and then he also has movie nights which he inspired me to watch movies on youtube so i really like him um i really fuck with sarah basco i don't know how to explain it she's so awesome you need to check her out but I really dig her vibe. She's super dope. And I love how she's just constantly finding herself and she's super vulnerable and puts it all on the internet. And we eat that shit up. Like we love a Sarah Basca moment. Goddamn. Funny Marco. If you don't know who Funny Marco is, you need to go check him out. This nigga is funny. Like. I'm obsessed I watch all his videos I watch videos from like years ago videos that he just posted like funny Marco gets all my views okay Kyle underscore Pinnock said I hope I said your name right homie has it been difficult to think consistently and put out content as a creator? Huh. I would say, I would say for me, being a creator, my struggles don't come from thinking of content. It comes from prioritizing content. Vibe Works, I think that's how you pronounce it, said last book you read. I'm glad you asked me this. Okay. This book literally changed my life, you guys. This book is called Man's Search for Meaning of Life. The nigga, his name is uh, Victor E. Frankel. So basically, okay, let me tell you. So basically, this nigga, Victor, he was taken to a Nazi death camp. Like, randomly taken from his family and took into a Nazi death camp. And I'm pretty sure his family was taken to one, too like everybody was split up they was put on these buses and they had to go to the nazi death camps basically the whole point was to kill niggas off and 
They had a whole process. They had the worst things you could think of. Buildings, little rooms. They had like situations, okay? That had different things going on. Like some niggas was getting torched down. Some niggas was getting tear gas. Some niggas was getting sprayed to death with hot ass water. Like dead ass. And like this was his life. And these niggas got coins. They were able to like barely get a piece of tissue, a piece of gum. Like it was crazy. And this nigga had to just like pick up his life and go over there. Like as a prisoner. Like niggas kidnapped him and <clears throat> took him. The time was up and there was still a very good amount of people alive they had to take them back home like everything was normal bro like these these people went back home and it was like they were just like what the fuck some people had some family there some people didn't but that's like the crazy part about it it was just like it was like they they were just like taken and like put in this whole world this whole new world and life was still going on beyond those walls like and some people made it through they were strong enough victor was one of them niggas victor was one of them guys who made it through and <laughs> he wrote about the whole experience and that's what this book is and that's what really got me bro like i really got to get insight on another man's suffering. I don't know, bro. It just changed me in a different way. Okay. I thought you was pregnant because you vanished from social media. I'm y'all.